Hi, I'm Margaret Graham. Welcome to my studio. We're in my home studio in Simpsonville, South Carolina, where I live with my husband, Fred, and our Yorkie, Chloe. I create centering pendants. The idea of a centering pendant came to me in the car one day as a way to help people remember to pause, breathe, and recenter themselves anytime they need it. I envisioned a physical item that was concave on both sides with a hole in the middle so that when you touch it, your fingers slide to the center and touch, creating a mudra or hand gesture commonly used in meditation. All of my work is inspired by my unique two-sided form. My designs are drawn to fit within the parameters of the form and are primarily inspired by nature and yoga philosophy. They're all hand-drawn into scratch foam and pressed into the clay when it's wet. I knew that the perfect medium to make these come to life would be metal clay. Metal clay is a relatively new material developed by the Japanese in the 90s. It's made of fine metal particles combined with an organic binder that allows the material to be manipulated like clay. But once it's fired in a kiln, it comes out as pure metal. The metal clay medium is perfect for me because I have a background in ceramics. I got a BA in art from UNC Asheville in 2002. With some guidance from a successful metal clay artist up in Asheville, I created the first entering pendant in January of 2017. Once both halves of the pendant are dry, they are assembled back to back and I use wet clay to create the edge. This is the trickiest part of the process because working in wet clay to drape a form isn't easy and I have to scrape away the excess before it dries out. Once dried again, the pendants are sanded to refine the piece before it's fired. Before they're fired, I also drill holes, add bales, or set stones as needed. They are each fired in a kiln at 1650 degrees for two hours. The organic binder fires away and all that's left is pure metal. Once it comes out of the kiln, I can add gold accents and solder on anything that needs soldering. Then I brush them, burnish the raised lines, tumble the pieces in a tumbler, oxidize them, and remove the oxidation. In the end, I've created a one-of-a-kind piece of art and a mindfulness tool. Thanks for watching. I hope you'll come see them yourself.